ஆனால் <laughs> there's been a constant uh, uh, meddling down with a uh, free thinking free freedom of expression and cutting down of expletives if if it requires for instance if it's islam or if it's a society which is uh, hardcore which they're very violent you do need sometimes the anger for instance then they don't want to be using a good word i mean you can't all be saying jai shri ram i think all the time <laughs> so <coughs> you know this kind of thing has been very very uh, it can completely getting worse i think there's uh, for the freedom of expression you think artists and filmmakers are sort of meeting the challenge of resisting raising their voices as much as they should and not really because i think right now i think uh, they are taking all the otts for instance different uh, web series and all that so suddenly as you hear they want to get certification there also from what i see a lot of web series for, from laila to many other thing uh, i mean some are good some are fantastic but there has been a lot more a uh, chance to freedom of expression i think to a lot more to talk about what is currently happening from mob lynching to you know the saffronization so many things they are talking about if you could do the same thing in the movie i think we would find it very difficult to certify it but they are finding platforms the creatively but why not a film why why shouldn't that be i mean we should probably <coughs> fight about it and raise a voice again but i i think overall some people are trying but a lot of people are just uh, from talking out even filmmakers like arura kashyap what you see he just said i don't want to be on the media anymore i don't be talking the daughter was threatened with rape yeah so. <coughs> happening everywhere this personal or uh, professional yeah. so it somehow affects your professional you put a kind of a self censorship yourself i think so let me not do the why get into trouble i mean especially the production house is being so corporatized and you know that dark corporate <coughs> seems to be <coughs> supporting and pro government all the time so it is uh, all hand in glove i think in a way so independent cinema per se by yourself you can fight there, are, there have been some places like uh, kerala couple of films which have fought and uh, it, it's happening but it, uh, people are just saying why bother especially since you're investing so much of time and money in it there's been a self curtail self censorship among ourselves i think and today of course there's news that about 40 odd people who wrote simply wrote to the prime minister yes expressing their concerns yes. as a sedition charge yes. against them and not even about filmmaking nothing it was about mob lynching mob they they have been an, say, i mean they have been charged sedition yeah. how can you not write i mean it's been so i mean it everywhere it's been like that if you uh, I, i remember one more uh, i think a journalist wrote something <coughs> and he was you know, so this what is journalism supposed to be not really writing about for pro government i don't think this should be mere hand pamphlets of the government they should be actually what the watchdogs of the government that's not happening i think so everywhere the 49 filmmakers in fact one of my my my, my friends asked me how come your name, name is not there but somehow it's beat was some 49 and today i will also wait probably be in that case of sedition why can't you write against something which is happening in a large scale openly and nobody is getting uh, caught nobody is getting punished I mean this is happening not just with the uh, mob lynch including if you see the right wing ministers who are talking openly about hate hate making speeches and uh, support insightful speeches like yeah. this vulnerable speeches yeah and then there nothing is happening to them i mean the so called uh, you know uh, higher authorities who we so called be they say we are going to take action 
about Pragya Singh Dev, uh, Thakur, they said, I don't know what happened after that. Has she been, as I said, you know, dismissed for a while or punished? No, no, Nothing. In fact, they just told her not to attend the Gandhi Jayanti celebrations for a bit yeah. because she had praised Godse as a Gandhi. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, then they proceeded. I mean, should we should only be happy not to participate, yeah. I guess, with that kind of mental attitude towards it. So, uh, yeah. Gauri herself, Gauri yeah. herself had some 25, 30 cases against her. Yeah. No, 80, I think. No? Yeah, well, 20 yeah. or 30, whatever yeah. it was, yeah. serious number of cases yeah. against her for. Yeah. Uh, allegedly defaming people yeah. because she had exposed yeah. different kinds of social and political yeah. and monetary corruption. Uh, and of course, we are two years down after losing yeah. her. Uh, uh, Kavita Lankesh has always been her own person, mm -hmm. but more and more she's uh, kind of been associated with the same issues that Gauri yeah. has yeah. since we lost Gauri. So, how do you feel about that transition? No, it's been a very uh, a funny, a very. Um, one is, the, of course, the lonely journey, and second is, of course, uh, a kind of a revelation within myself, uh, because as um, I'd met you, for instance, once in her office, and I just said hi, and I was too busy, but now I've been meeting you more and more, like that, same with Kanai or Umar, for instance, has called me for uh, 19th, 15th October for a protest in Delhi. Though I would like to, and I, I'm three number of times I've been to Kerala, as you know, and many other places as well. At some point, I'm happy that uh, you know I'm being exposed or I'm getting more and more involved in these kind of things. But at the same time, you can always say it's not my life. Like uh, you know, I would I would earlier be uh, involved in making films, and of course, I spoke about issues, the Dalit issues, or you know, women's and your films issues. Are also socially concerned. Yes, absolutely. It was not some meaningless uh, films. I mean, of course, I've also made a couple meaningless cinema, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, main uh, largely, I would I mean the documentaries I made and all that would be a, of a social concern but now it's becoming much more active active in the you know voicing out uh, at the same time i think it's my right to do that also you can't just be uh, armchair activist like 100 people and you know just talking and airing out your youth so not I mean, not wholeheartedly like you people but some some things at least i think i should voice out my opinion so i'm doing that yeah and some beautiful poetry is coming out <laughs> yeah I can't call it poetry actually, it's just my feelings of what I write and in fact I just finished one more last week. It's just sometimes I just miss her so much and I write and uh, you know, if it happens to be whatever form it's called, it's that. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, it's a pain. No, 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 it's okay. No, every time, I mean it's been two years but it still continues, yeah. yeah. But uh, you would have found some solace in a lot of friends that she had, a lot of support absolutely. she had. Yeah, absolutely, and, absolutely. And the kind of reaction that came yeah. from all kinds of quarters yeah. across the world, yes. not just in India. Yeah, yeah. No, it's been very reassuring that way. I feel how she's not gone sometimes because of that, you know, because every week or every time there's something you know, that happening about her and issues about her being raised and what she has talked about is coming true, for instance. Many things like, uh, you know, uh, the whole descent and everything, everything would you speak uh, and uh, so somehow it feels like she's around somewhere physically yeah she might not be there with us and uh, of course people like you and so many of you who have been supporting for instance the last week what we had with uh, giving an award uh, to Ravish. Mr. Yeah. Ravish Kumar it was a wonderful thing and she always she was the one who introduced me to him and showed me once his videos and said come and see how well he speaks and listen to him. So we used, we used to watch, watch together. And finally, to, for him to get an award in Gauri's name, it was a very proud moment for all of us, I think. Yeah. Because we have to support. Otherwise, these kind of journalists who are being trolled and threatened and every activist, every day, every all of the people like you, if you don't have at least some moral support, forget the financial support, then it's very difficult to survive, I think. It's very difficult to continue your work. Yeah. In a way. We're looking like we're going to go through an even more difficult time yeah. now with NRC being announced yeah. all over yeah. Karnataka and Maharashtra yeah. and UP are the first states yeah. to say that they. No, it's are. very scary. I mean, it's, uh, <coughs> it's very scary because it's again more polarizing people, I think. And it's, uh, I mean, we, we can't suddenly think, and in India, we, where so many tribals have been there with no proper papers so many years, suddenly you expect them to. Oh. And also, the whole uh, speech recently made saying that. Buddhists, uh, Christians, Sikhs, everybody will get the citizenship. Only the Muslims are let out. So it's a very, it's a very hit. Uh, I mean, it's it's going to have its repercussions badly later, which should have been done more delicately, with more thoughtfulness and more humanitarianly. You know, I think that would have been better, not this way, because uh, everything from Kashmir issues to this, it's uh, we wouldn't want it to happen, of course, as, an, as every Indian citizen would. But I think 
it will have a lot more serious repercussions in the coming years. Yeah, this kind of uh, polarizing politics yes. tends to have its own yeah, reaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very scary in a way. I mean, yeah. I mean, I just thank you for this conversation. Is there anything you'd like to tell young people, especially? Young people, I mean, <laughs> young, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's so difficult for, see, for instance, it's, it's when they speak about, uh, for instance, environment or, for instance, the RA forest. And uh, I mean, when it's, it's, we are living in Bangalore, yeah. but whatever the whole concern or when some huge uh, acres, hectares of forests are being off, given off to corporates. Yeah. So she does raise a concern and that is what we should be bothered about, I think. Forget religion, forget caste, forget who is a citizen, who is not. I mean, as long as they know, of course, they are valid terrorists, you do catch yeah, all yeah. or do that. But you worry, you should worry, be worried about not building statues, temples, who is uh, who's Ram, who is, you know. It should not be, it should be, I think, more of environment, education, health. And this is what should be our priority from day one. And only then, maybe, I mean, it's not a, you know, right now we make money, but I'm sure whoever is making money, through destroying environment, they have children, what are they going to breathe later? Absolutely. See, this should be the main issues and this is what we should be fighting about. But instead we are f fighting about so many, when you look <coughs> deeply, it's very petty, I think, when you're talking about divisive and who is, which caste religion they are. So and you know, in this RA forest, yeah. which we all call the Lung of Bombay, yeah. of Mumbai, yeah. there are 3,000 plus trees and yeah. uh, botanists have told us that the 88 species. Yeah. So, you know, it's not just about cutting down the trees, it's actually yeah. going to ruin that entire biodiversity yeah. which will be almost impossible to repair yeah. because then you'll come with deforestation yeah. plus there are 27 padas where Adivasis live yeah. they've yeah, been living true. long before yeah. the uh, RDA milk colony yeah. came up you know and it's their whole ecosystem yeah. their whole life support system and they've been protecting the forest you yeah. know? so I just hope Mumbai has the soul no, this is what we should be. That, you know? This is what we should be raising our voice <coughs> against whether it's the minister whether it's a public servant whether it's a I mean, uh, Jadwar, anybody, anybody, we should be thinking about these issues, I yeah. think. No, and in the course of the hearing in the court, unfortunately yeah. the High Court dismissed the petitions today, but in the course of the hearing it turned out that there is an alternate plot yeah. available, not far away, yeah. not litigated, where easily the uh, metro project could move. So yeah. nobody's saying that don't develop the metro, yeah. but that would not, that this is a forest yeah. zone, you know, yeah. so why would you... So um, little concerns, no, little <laughs> awareness, I mean, you know, people like... Uh, Greta Thunberg is being trolled now, though she's been doing something. It's nothing, I mean, she's a young girl. Yeah. So we should be taking those kind of advice. I mean, people are doing here so much, so much of work, environmentally. We should be saving lakes, these kind of things. This is what is our concern, not religion, not this. I would say, I mean, we should put that aside and concentrate on what's really important for our future generation. As if somebody said, we are all jacked, our generation. We have ruined half of it. Or, you know, yeah. I mean, we should at least correct it now. You know, it's not just uh, like saying, okay, ban plastic. Of course, plastic is also important. We should ban it and re reusable. But beyond that, there's so many other things. So, we, are not, we shouldn't do it for like a facade, for sure. We should do a lot more things, I think, which is important. So, that's what I would like my younger generation of my my daughter and other, you know, generation who are coming up should be concentrating on that. Not really devising who is which caste, which religion. Those kind of things are unimportant, I think. Thank yeah. you, Kavita. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Tista. <laughs>